Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We got a weird one today. <laughs> Look at it spin. We got the KSG. It's one of these oddball shotguns, right? This is the one with the two tubes. It's got two loading tubes here, and it's got a little switch. I don't know if you can see it. A little switch in the back where you can switch between which tube you're using. It's very odd. It is pump action. 12 gauge, of course. It's got rails on the tops and the bottoms, and it's got all kinds of weird stuff going on. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at the controls on the KSG. Well, actually, it's standard pump action shotgun controls with one exception, so it's actually not that confusing. Left on the trackpad will activate this little ambidextrous safety there. Cute. Can you click it by your with your hand? Nope. <laughs> Whoa, it's too close to the grip there for that. All right, if we hold up on the trackpad, you can let this open this up, unlock that breachy thing, move that back and forth. That's fun. I think that's called cocking. You've got two tubes. Let's see the tubes from the front. So you got two tubes on this for the shells. They go all the way back. I guess that would make it like a bullpup. Kind of, sort of, if it was magazine fed, I suppose. And you've got this selector switch. So what's the control on the trackpad for the selector switch? Ha 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 ha! You wish there was a control on the trackpad for the selector switch. I've tried everything. There is none. Ha ha! So you have to manually click with your trigger on your off hand, and it will go between selecting the left tube, the right tube, and neither tube. You'd think, oh, that's going to select both tubes, and one tube's empty, it'll go to the next tube. No! That's like another safety. It's basically selecting no tubes at all. So, you start with the left or the right, shoot it till it's empty, stop shooting, come back here and click it to the other tube, and continue on. Now, that's seven in each tube, so that's a lot, but still, you got to click it manually. So, let's see how that works. Oh, so that's seven, and now it's switched. Now we're going to switch to the other tube. <laughs> so I didn't notice, yeah, it actually pulls from the tube that it's not pointing towards, so <laughs> got a little backwards there. Oh, weird! Here's something I just noticed. So I was using the little panel to load this thing so I can save myself some time. And if you look at it, here's the fill, fill held object button as I select one of the tubes. But if I select in the middle, it goes away because there's doesn't know which tube to fill. Ooh, fancy. Somebody had a bug and fixed it. So it's only filling one tube at a time. So it's actually not filling the whole held object, just whatever tube is available. So that's a good little tip. All right, let's talk about reloading the KSG. The KSG has got the, one of the most <laughs> bizarre reloading setups. So if you cock it back like this, you can actually see up into that chamber. There we go. And you can actually get that first round. Yeah, up in there. It's a little tricky. First round started, like that, and then you can put seven in each tube, and let's see, get that all, get that all done, and you should have 15 shots. Let's see what attachments fit on the KSG. We got a lot of rails, looking good here. Where's my red dot? Oh, nice. Where's my laser? Oh, nice, nice. Ah, love lasers. All right, let's see what this sounds like. It's buckshot. I think it's got a different sound than the standard shotgun sound. Let's put that compensator on it. Yeah, that sounds the same. How about the suppressor? Yay, we can put a suppressor on it. Look at that. 
See what this sounds like. Nice. Oh, I like it. That's kind of unnecessary, but can we put the rail adapter on it? Yes, we can. Fantastic. Uh, what else we got? Foregrip? Oh. Does that... Does that work? Oh, look at that! That's the... I think that's the first time that's worked. So we've got a bottom rail, so we can actually put a foregrip on there if you want to change how you're holding this. I like that. I'm going to keep that. And of course, it's already got a stock, so you can't put a stock on it. So, there you go. Tactical! Let's take a look at the sights. It's got that rail on the top, but there's no actual sights on there, so you'd have to use the rail to sight... Oh, hello. Because if you want to check on your ammo, you just shove your face through the stock. <laughs> yeah, you can use the sights, like so. And that'll have to uh, have to do for you, or you can put some. Uh, let's see what we got here. Put a red dot on it. That'll work much better. Yeah, much better. Let's take a look at the buckshot spread on it. I think I gotta flip my I gotta flip my tubes. I gotta flip my tubes. Let's take a look at the buckshot spread on this thing. Eight. Let's do another one. Even a little high, 8.6. Let's do a third one. There we go, 8.8. .8. So for such a short-barreled shotgun, that's actually quite good, 8.8. .8. That's the low end of the longer barrel shotguns, approaching the short barrel shotguns, which tend to be somewhere in the seven, seven and a half, that range. So that's a pretty good spread for this shotgun. There you have it, the KSG Tactical Shotgun with two tubes and 12 gauge. It's a cool handle on it. Till next time, I'm going to see ya. Ooh, ooh, that was a good pattern. 9-7. Nice. Sometimes you get lucky. Getting tired. Oh, thank God. Whew. Oh, throw is good. It's always nice. Now that target's beat up. <laughs>